Today's video is gonna be a little different. It's a Q&A that's gonna be randomly interrupted by clips I took throughout the day. Question number one. That's too much. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell I have no idea what I'm doing with these little papers. Even the kids are telling me that's way too many. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's go kids, you got a birthday party to attend. Since I got this question the most, let's start off with it. Are you dating again if you don't mind us asking? No, I don't mind you asking at all. Um, I went through a little phase this last year where I dated and truthfully, I think I was doing it more to seek validation and to feel like somebody would like me. This might sound really shallow, but I feel like once I received my validation, I realized that dating is a huge time commitment. It requires a lot of energy and resources that truthfully, if I'm gonna put into anybody, it should be my kids and myself. Nothing against dating though. I just feel like for right now, I wanna focus on me and the kids. I did have a lot of fun though. And I will say every girl I talked to was great, amazing, beautiful, and I'm still friends with all of them. I could see myself with any one of them, but truthfully, like I said, right now is not the time. I want to focus on the kids and me. Oh my God, that sounds so selfish. I hate that I said that, but it's true. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I struggle at birthday parties because there's cake. It's not cheat day. I can't have cake. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's Levi's. Question number two. Would you ever consider having more kids? Back at the house. This little one clearly had way too much fun. She never stays asleep when I get out of the car. Never. Clearly she's exhausted. Now, that's an easy one to answer. Right now, I am more than content with the little ones I have. I feel like as it is, I can't give them each the individual attention that they already need. So having more would just be selfish. But I will say that in the future, I think I would actually prefer to date somebody who has kids. It's that news. So I got two friends coming over that the kids haven't seen in quite some time. I know they're gonna be stoked about it. Dude, they're having a lot of fun downstairs. But of course, since this isn't my house, I did ask for permission if I could bring these two people over and all parties said yes, which is exciting but kind of funny because it made me feel like a kid again. Mom, can I have two friends come over, please? I totally didn't say please. <laughs> what am I doing? Question number three. Yo! What's up, guys? Oscar, how are you really? Ooh, that's a good question. Mentally, I'm in one of the best places I've been in years, okay? I'm hyper-focused again, passionate about what I'm doing, and I haven't felt this, truthfully, since we started daily vlogging back in 2016. Physically, though, it's taken a little bit of a toll on me. As you can tell, I have constant bags under my eyes, I am breaking out from the lack of sleep, and I'm losing a little bit of strength. But these cons are definitely worth these pros. Open your eyes. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> That's cool. That is so cool. It's pretty cool here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with the way it turned out. Levi yeah. likes it better in the dark. Yes. Levi, this is Tony the coolest star ever. That means a lot to me. <laughs> and Levi, of course. <laughs> 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 What happened to the last two OK Baby videos? All right, so my plan, I actually didn't talk about this with Kira, so I don't know what her plan was, but my plan was to show Kira moving out and then me moving out and having those be like the end of OK Baby, but I think we just kind of were going with the flow. I realized she was gonna make her own moving out vlog, so I decided to make my own, and then when she wasn't there for me to move out, I was kind of just like, why post this on OK Baby? Let me just make it a me thing. It's so yummy. I like that. I really wanted leaving that house to be like the closure and finale of the OK Baby series or the OK Baby season, but it didn't work out that way, unfortunately. I still feel like I got that closure by making that video. In case you guys haven't seen it, I'll put it somewhere, wherever. The craziest part about making that video was realizing how badly I needed to leave that place and also how badly I needed the closure of making that video. It got me out of this weird mental bubble that I had been in for like a year. And last but not least, another win. 
for 2023. Tiny wins, but a win nonetheless. Question number five. I have blood on my face. I think it's from my finger. You see how my finger's bleeding? But how did it get on there? Or did I cut myself? Dude, rock climbing is killing me today. Oscar, truthfully, how do you and the new BF get along now? We're all actually really civil about the situation. No, we're not best friends. No, we don't hang out. But we do try not to step on each other's toes. I feel like I try to respect his space. He tries to respect mine. Everyone's actually been extremely respectful towards each other. And so I'm happy with that. I feel like that's what's best. It'll benefit all of us in the long term. The truth may Shit will carry on. And hopefully we left all the drama we'll ever have back in 2022. Anywho, I know this video was different. Let me know if you guys liked it, but I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Listen to the words I said.